Well, I have the uh, Robo Mower, and right now, this is the Mo Mister, and it just left the docking station for the first time. And what it's doing is it's following the guide wire that I laid out, and it's in the initial mapping zone. Uh, I should say mapping phase. So what it's doing is now it's determining the most, you know, efficient way to cut the grass. So we just kind of watch it. What I need to do is probably smooth the lawn out a bit. But it just moseys along and it's just figuring out. So in this phase, it's not, the blades are not spinning. It is just strictly in a uh, kind of a driving around mode where it's just following the line. See, it won't go out of that line. See, it just crossed, so it'll stop and it's, uh, it'll keep spinning until it finds the wire again. Now here comes a small tree. That might be a problem. No. Oop, it went right over it. No problem. <laughs> I'm glad it's just in the mapping mode. So this one again, you know, I'm not gonna do it, show you the whole thing, but there's its charging station and that is where it left off from. It might be going back as we speak. Because it did complete the whole loop. So, there it goes all by itself. Whoop, it's backing up. Oh, you know what? Now it is going to go out and actually mow the yard. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop it right now. Well, the mow mister is doing its thing. It has found the most efficient way to cut the grass. And away it goes. Now, these type of mowers are not designed to cut real thick grass or really even kind of the leaves that I have uh, right now. It's springtime, so the grass is just gonna start greening up. But, what this is really supposed to be used like, you know, a couple times a week. Maybe three times if it's really raining. But, <laughs> I just love it. So fun to watch. One thing, uh, it does have a rain meter so when it starts to rain and it is starting to rain right now uh, it is supposed to shut off but you don't know want to be honest I don't think I turned the uh, that feature on yet so I may want to just pick this up and uh, bring it inside but this is a lot of fun turn around and really the features very simple to use you could just like uh, I just hit the bow button and it, you know like it went out and did the mapping but now from here on out it knows what to do so it's just gonna I could set it you know program it to go you know at certain times of the day and you know which day I want it to go on but uh, if you want to just kind of go in spot mode you can come out press that mo button and it will uh, come off of its little platform and that platform charges this device and another feature 
if the mower is starting to get low on battery, it is, it has like a smart feature. Well, it will go back to the charging station. So that's a nice feature. So it, you know, it doesn't just die out in the middle of the uh, yard. Um, this one also has a, what, what's like a smart cut feature where the three little blades or the, the engines that are cutting, depending upon the grass and uh, the surface, it applies certain amount of uh, force and like speed on the blade just to, uh, to be more efficient. And the blades, this unit also comes with an extra set of uh, blades. And the blades are very small. Um, yeah, they're almost like razor blades, but yeah, very simple. Um, as far as setting up the platform, the charging platform, what you do is you're going to take your uh, boundary wire and you're going to run it through your docking station and then that's going to come out right here, right in the back. And that line is going to go to the black. And then what you're going to do, you're going to go out and you're going to lay your boundary wire all you know, around your yard. And then when you're finally done with that loop, the end wire is going to end up... I'm going to get run over by the lawnmower here. <laughs> the end wire ends up going to the red and that is it um there is a cover that goes on over the top here so it's fully enclosed but uh just have that off for demonstration purposes but you can certainly take you know like that boundary wire and uh put it around like let's say islands if you would let's say if you had a pond or a garden you don't uh if you want the mower to avoid that so lots of different features but uh, yeah I just this was the first time uh, mapping here this front section and it, it just took off by itself and everything is done but there is an app for it as well so uh, you know with that app you know you could do like I said uh, you know the different settings um, you know a lot, lot more options, but you know, for uh, this demonstration, I just used, uh, I did not use the app. I just simply turned the machine on and uh, away it went. So, great product, um, you know, fairly lightweight, but I mean, it's about 40 pounds. But as you can see, my lawn right now is very bumpy and mole hills, and it has no problem going over it. And, as you saw earlier too, it ran over that small tree. So it does have, uh, you know, plenty of power and it's got some uh, real nice um, knobby tires in the back, which really helps with the traction. So I'm really pleased with it and uh, it's actually kind of fun to, to watch it uh, mow the yard.